What's up, everybody? That's right here with an all-new playthrough. It's Alone in the Dark. <clears throat> um, this is the newest one that came out, so 2024. It's a reimagining of the original 1992 game, which I never did play. Um, the only Alone in the Dark I did play came out mid mid to late 2000s, and it was not very good. It's on the 360, at least. It's probably on the PS3 too, but. I had it for 360, and yeah, it's not a not a great game. Um, so hopefully this one's better. Also, what I know is there's two characters to play in this game, and to get the full story, apparently you have to play as both of them. So I will be doing that as well. Um, luckily, it's not that long of a game. It says like seven, or no, it's like eight to ten hours, I think. No, seven, seven to eight, seven to eight. That's what it was. So, we'll see how it goes. Um, I know there's a lot of puzzles. We'll see how that goes. Let's make sure subtitles are on. Are they? Yeah, oh yeah. It's like a little click there. Got it. Um, yeah. Volume looks like it's good. So the game takes place in like the 1920s at some manner. That's all I know. So, um, yeah, let's get in the arena and go with this all new adventure. St standard, sure. Um, extra help provides to make an experience smoother and easier, including hints and helpful highlights. Wait, what? Um,. So a lot of games nowadays, like you said, considering the modern thing, you might get that. So like when you're playing a game and sometimes you get lost or something, like, oh no, go this way or do this. I wouldn't mind that as long as you know it doesn't give you the answer like right off the fucking bat, you know? Try to do old school. I mean, you can always switch it. Well, let's do old school for now and um, see how it goes. Like I said, it says we can switch it if we need to, but I'll find one old school. We'll see how hard the puzzles are. I don't think they're going to be anything like crazy. Best frog graphics ever. The frog's about to get snapped, bro. I'm also in my camera works, guys. Last time I was streaming, Devil in me did not want to keep freezing, so hopefully we're good now. So, your uncle. What's wrong with him? He's possessed. As in the devil? Something like that. I will say, man is following him. the graphics right now are all times. aren't great. They're Wait, like, whatever. But not for this gen. Nonsense, like, come on. Of course. But I'd be lying if I said it didn't bother me. You see, it runs in my family. Possession? No, detective. Deteriorating melancholy. Practically every member of the Hartwood family is driven mad before they grow old. <clears throat> but Jeremy didn't kill himself. Is that why he's at your setup? Despite being convinced that he is truly possessed, he decided to put his last chips on Dr. Gray and his psychoanalysis, figuring he might stumble upon some cure. You mentioned the letter. I received a disturbing letter from Jeremy accusing the staff and all the other patients of being involved in some cult. And now they are also out to keep him. Could it be real? Or is it all just in his head? It's a story he tells himself, Mr. Carnby. Anything to avoid the truth. Which is? That we're all terribly insignificant. 
that people mean so very little to one another. That there is no one out to get Jeremy Hartwood because he isn't worth getting. Here we are. My uncle's not well, Mr. Carnby. I want to make sure he's all right. Then what's my part in this? You couldn't get a cab? I just wouldn't feel safe going alone. <coughs> she said, my camera did freeze again. Are you fucking kidding me? Wow. Did you bring a gun? Yeah. You think it'll actually come to that? No. But you might need to wave it around depending on how agreeable the staff will be. What exactly are we going to do when we find Jeremy? I don't know. Let's just find him first. Yeah, it's very upsetting that I, I do not know why my camera keeps fucking... Well, okay, that it starts like just like that. Now, here's your character selection. Yeah, I don't know why it keeps freezing, but it's starting to really piss me off. Especially when I'm playing like the my October games. Especially when Devil in Me, because I jumped a couple times in that game, and you know what? Did you guys see it? No. But, oh well, I gotta figure that out. Maybe I might have to buy a new one. I mean, it's not like hot or anything. It's like it's overheating. I just, I don't know why it's doing it. Oh well. Um. Anyways, we've got two characters to choose from. Who should we play as first? You know what? go Karn B. We'll play as him. That's the other thing. She's saying, oh, we know he's probably full of shit, but someone should come with me because I don't feel safe. So some part of her might think you believe that. Yeah. Something weird may be going on. I wonder if they like, run into each other throughout the story or not, though. looks abandoned it can't be there has to be someone around <clears throat> wait here I'll go around back chapter one no name of the chapter, just chapter one. Oh, here we are. Well, let me try one thing with my cramp my camera. So I was trying to open it by itself, but it won't let me open it if a stream is open. Um it's, it's, it's not it. I activated it, but it's not coming up. Hold on, let me try this now.
Oh, it's not even coming on regardless. It's just blank now. So yeah, it must be fucking up. It's a shame. I was thinking about getting a new one soon anyways. But... I'll tell my girlfriend to buy me one for Christmas. I'll just deal with, with that one for now. Oh well. It's gonna deactivate it for now so the fucking green light on it doesn't blind the shit out of me. For no fucking reason. <clears throat> Alright, here we go. I got a pistol with six shots. Nothing else. The random spotlight in here. I guess because they're working on the engine, but. Kind of a weird walk, like hunched over. Ooh, a flashlight. Now, what do we got here? This is lighter. Oh no, the flashlight looks like the lighter. Okay. With the garden key. Your nice flashlight. Use the controls here. Wise crouch, got it. The dodge button. Zoom in. Ooh, that's not spooky. Creepy eyes, my rat. It's that a cat? Probably a rat. <clears throat> I think it was a cat. Yeah. Nah, I'm not getting in there. All right, probably gonna get something to break shit with. You don't want to reach down there and grab it, dude? Okay. Hello, anybody home? Whoa. Whoa. What? There's one big tree defense. I mean, bird. Oh, the whispering. I need the key. I don't know how much he got paid to do this game. Or maybe he's like, oh, I get to do a video game? Sure, why not? Three. Cool. Can't go that way. Oh, there we go. Saving keys and pots, huh? the front door and let Emily Hartwood inside. You got it. Don't mind if I do. I mean, was it really breaking in if, you know, they left keys and unlocked doors for us? Uh, 
family vibe. Every day your silence weighs a little heavier. Well, it's nice that they actually read it for you. It's been a difficult year for everyone, and many have lost all hope. I read in the papers about people suffering. Pictures of dust-covered landscapes without a drop of water. I wish I knew if you were still tending the earth or if you had turned your back against us. I have started to look for help elsewhere. I pray you will tell me if I'm going down a path that you find disagreeable. With help from Batiste and Charlotte, I found comfort in the practice of the voodoo. I have long been skeptical of that Caribbean cult, but it's been of good use to me. It seems all harmless in my book. I say some words dreamt up by the Creoles, and I carry around a small pocket of Grigri. Nothing of this is mentioned in the Bible, of course, but the French court of priestess tells me it's all connected. She says the Christian God is just one more perspective on the creator of things. That's what I like to think, but the other way around. That the spirits of her faith are just aspects of you, our Heavenly Father. I am so grateful for the words you gave Mr. Hartwood. We will sing your praises at St. John's Eve. The world will be blessed soon again. Only the sacrifices of the Old Testament compare to your demands. Let it be the truth. A mother of earth, wood, and dirt. A mother of a thousand young. Sacred sand, one dollar. Black cat oil, dollar fifty. Devil shoe strings, a quarter. That makes two dollars and seven. A quarter. Madame. What was that you were telling the doctor? A goat without horns. What does that mean? Ah, you must have misheard me, madame. I said no such thing. Please. I know I don't look like any of you, but I'm devout. I'm ready to do what it takes. Mm. Do not be so eager to sacrifice the few things you have left, madam. Apparently they say more than what's actually in here. Store. A goat without horns. <coughs> Interesting. Huh. One bullet. Oh, they're going to be very stingy with the ammo, aren't they? What's in the freezer? Elf. Hello. Just checking for supplies. But yeah, I might as well check everywhere if I'm gonna only get such few little ammo. Can be like one of the games where like most of the Resident Evils are you're gonna probably not use your ammo and run away. Yeah, I thought we'd be able to open that uh big chest. Street car ticket. Oh, there's sets of stuff. Okay. Fifteen things. Got it. Desetto. Uh, they're not essential, but you will uncover forbidden knowledge and sometimes even more. Carry over game to game also. If you don't get it the first time, you can get it the next time. And then some sets can't even be completed with this playthrough. You gotta do it with hers. Got it. So while they say you want the complete story, you gotta play both games. Wonder what's kinda like um RE2 or like they go to like different places. Most of it's the same, but sometimes they go to separate locations. 
Like shit that they do. Please do not touch the boiler. It is working after all. While the sabotage has caused a leak, only the decorative plate has been completely ruined. Let's wait for Mr. Chance to turn up and he can take a look at the leak. Mr. Waits. That doesn't look safe. I got our first puzzle. It's not letting me select anything. Huh. Maybe I can't do it yet until um you open the door for her. Like it sounded like it was letting me move shit. Hmm. But like nothing's highlighting, so I'm just gonna not worry about it right now. And in there, I think you guys have a leak. I need the key. I need the key. I need the key. I need the key. We got a map. Locked door, bolted door, locked door. Yeah, get the plaza key. Oops. Sunday, Lottie's diary. I spent all day looking for Jed. I should have cared for the others, but I'm scared that he would do something irreversible. Cassandra is upset that I didn't give her the latest shipment of pain medication that Waits brought from the post office yesterday. I would have given it to her, but the company didn't send a new key this time around, so the box is just sitting there on my desk. They must have figured we had plenty of their gimmicky keys by now. I only remember seeing one lately. Grace was playing with it inside the grand parlor. Unless it turns up by itself, it will have to wait. I have to figure out where Jeremy is. I think Jack knew something. That dog of his found a strange rock permeating the house. She's showing us, he said. Like those blots and streaks of fetid rot was talking to him. Right. <clears throat> is there another room in here? No. Both open map, map is with information about the world, including locked doors and puzzles. Well, that's the room we were in. That was the front door. Oh, maybe I just have the... I need the key. It's not the plaza key, is this? What's this? Oh, this just took me back out here. The shortcut back down, I guess. I think I gotta walk all the way around. Oh. That bear is gonna come to life. Rubber stamp. Hello. So many locked doors. No, stay open. Damn it, open. Oh, found it. Who are you? Oh, me. Excuse me. My name is Edward Carnby, private investigator. I hope you don't mind we let ourselves inside. I do mind. This is private property. You can't just barge in here. 
I'm sorry about all this, but I'm looking for my uncle. It's urgent, and no one was answering the door. We can't hear you knocking anymore. None of us can. Who is your uncle, darling? Jeremy. Am I right? She has that Hartwood groove, doesn't she? That's right. I'm Emily Hartwood. I just came to make sure my uncle is all right. Well, he is unavailable right now. He will have to come back another day. Unavailable? How? Is he sleeping? We can wait. He's lost. Don't I know you from somewhere? Who's your man again, Miss Hartwood? My name's Edward Carnby. Private investigator. Splendid. Enough, all of you. Get back to your rooms. McCarthy, keep your eyes on the child. And you two, please leave immediately. Look, we're not here to cause any trouble. Just let us see the old man, satisfy the curiosity of my client here, and we'll be off. Jeremy has gone missing. There's no need to worry, but it might be some time before he turns up. The whole staff is looking for him. What? He ran off? I don't have time for any of this. Please, come back tomorrow. All right, in that case, we'll just wait in his room. You don't mind, do you? It's upstairs, right? Wait, you can't. Don't worry, we'll be discreet. In the corridor, oh, it's the nice. first door on your left. I'll tell Dr. Gray you're here. Excellent, thank you, madam. <laughs> Dr. Gray's not gonna be happy. Oh, those are weird sculptures. <clears throat> All right, here we are. Let's look around, see if we can dig up any clues. I, I went black for a second. I was like, what's going on? All right, well, get a key. Oh, you do need something for this, I guess. I thought it was going to be like one of those little puzzles where you like slide the shit around. Apparently not. She's not in here. Oh, no, she's right there. Every night the dark man stands opaque at the threshold of my room, counting the days until my spirit spills out of my tired shape. Only his pallid mask shelters my remaining sanity. Staring directly into the face of that demonic sultan would surely sunder time itself. Would he have looked the same to my father as he struggled for his life? Does his veiled face haunt my niece quite the same way? I wish so that I could rest my soul in that sunburnt convent of Tarawea. Would I find you there, Juan? Or Senora Perosi? Back from the beyond? Every night I hide from him, moving from one misshapen memory to another. Scenes conjured out of fantasy and delirium. Places I struggle to even paint. I wish I understood your death, Senor. Is there anything I could do for you but bury you in that bleak necropolis? That triumphant chapel rising above the ledges and the oven vaults shall be your sepulcher, where you may rest, and I shall weep. Apparently there's five of these. Oh, there's pages? Oh, shit. Oh, might as well just play and fucking. How did you first come to understand such things, Senora? How did you know that the battered boil in the basement would lead me to Lafayette Cemetery? Or how the old upstairs clock with its astronomical motifs would take me to that hateful mound outside of Claremont Harbor? Those are my memories, my past. Is there perhaps a chance, if ever so small, for me to see <clears throat> Terra Wea? I want that more than anything. Please, let my talisman take me there. Let me sit with Juan under his Bodhi tree. 
Despite having told me that talisman, Miss Jackson, the voodoo priestess, revealed none of her secrets to me. That's why I had to travel to Tonka. Instead, she cruelly told Baptiste, my caretaker, that he would be betrayed and killed in the most awful way, that the one he loved would pierce his thigh with a sharp spear, and that he would be devoured by his own mother. What a terrible thing to say. A lot of um, we're becoming dangerous. notes so far, and they're pretty long, too. What they are doing. I must do something to stop them. I tried talking to Dr. Gray, but he confuses my worries. He's caught up in treating me. How can he expect evil to be cured with medicine and conversation? The orderlies, the housekeeper, and the patients are all deranged. They will call upon evil to enter this world. Oh, we'd be lost. Everything. Unless I can find the clerk, Mr. Waite. He seems to be a clear-thinking man. Maybe Beauregard. The dark man offered me a prison, and I accepted. I signed that miscarried contract and entered the dark pact. Everyone is safe, except for me. Let me get some symbols. Okay. Hey. They, yep, there you go. So there's more tiles to find. Got it. Talk to her, though. I found a book full of peculiar notes. Have you heard of something called Tarawea? No. What's that? I might be reading too much into this, but I think it's the place he wants to go to. Oh, okay. Sounds like a clue. Okay, it sounds like a clue. Can you just, like, put it anywhere you want? Oh, wow, that's a lot easier than sliding it around. Hey, you know anything about this? Looks like some sort of talisman. No, I don't. Oh, help me out here, will you? I would kill the guy, throw some of this stuff out. I'd be crazy too if I had this much junk lying around. That's not weird at all. Save this one. All right, come on. I want to go see Dr. Gray. Come on, let's go. Yeah, I'm coming. That painting, it spoke to me. Miss Hartwood. Emily? That's not the same place. Let's get the corner store. Still can't get in there, okay. Of 
quickly now. <clears throat> Get to the corner store. Holy shit! I was not expecting this. Wait, how do I dodge against B? Okay. Oh my god, dude. Will you hit him? Oh my god, reload, bro. You know what? Just run past him because I don't know how many shots they actually take to kill. I thought it was just normal people here, not fucking enemies. Jesus, that actually got me. I'm just gonna be thrown at enemies to distract. Oh, you know what? I'm just gonna run them. store there are no owners here we both strangers in Jeremy's store Jeremy did this how a pack with the dog man Jeremy warned us but we didn't think much of it I'm detective Edward Carnby I was hired by Jeremy's niece to find him oh yeah how much you paying you $150 <laughs> she's sure getting her money's worth tonight you were thinking, man, come back. Nah, no, not if I can help it. You know, I think Jeremy's hiding in a way we can't find him. He has this juju necklace. Got some. The talisman? That's right. It's some magic charm he got from Miss Jackson down the street. The voodoo priestess? You know, surprising things, come Yeah, the mama lower. Here, take the key. I locked the gate to save her place from all the ghouls and goblins getting inside. Maybe if you go there, you can find some clues to show you the way. Thanks. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. Is this locked here? It's not. That's not creepy at all. All the goodies. You want to come along? Nah, I'm going to stay here for a while. You do that. I have a map of this place, huh? Where's that going, though? Some gate. Turn the light off. Can they? It's a bird to be like hiding from them. Um, I'm just gonna throw an enemy or use to distract them. Tap RT quickly to throw an item. Don't have any items. That didn't work. Nothing to see here, sir.
So where I'm supposed to be going is not great. Where we need to go. Hey, what a hatchet. Oh, I use it though. Oh, there. That's out. Arby. Enemies up there. Ah, uh, shit. My weapon broke. Oh, it does break though? That's shitty. But it is what it is, it's fine. Use it a way to save um ammo. What do you mean full? I can only hold 20 bullets? Oh. That's not good. Oh god. Oh shit. Miss Jackson's seance partner. Let's see if she's got any information on Jeremy's talisman. Let's ch check that. I only hold five potions. Great. It's the talisman, like the one in the painting. Find your own tailspin. I think it's meant for the talisman. Okay. I think it needs numbers, like coordinates. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. Maybe there is. He wrecked. Um, here. What does that say? Three, five, eight. Hold on, I'm tripping. <clears throat> I don't know if it matters the way it's like facing though. Three's like what? Southwest and five south and then eight's like northeast. Oh, it was like this. This is what, exactly what it was like down there. But it means something else with the um, those other symbols, I think. Is 
those X's and shit. There's a threes by the cross of the star. Is that on here? I have a star, but I don't have a fucking cross. Unless that's supposed to line up. That was the only thing I saw in his fucking notes, though. Oh, wait, maybe it's this. Yeah, three, five, eight. I'm tripping, bro. I do not know what you want me to do here. See, the only other page with talismans is this fucking thing. This don't fucking help me at all. Unless it's supposed to touch these stars. Shit, maybe I should have uh, fucking put it on modern. Fucking Christ, dude. I just want to know what I'm doing wrong. That's it. I know it has something to do with the 358, but I don't know where the fuck you want me to point it at. Let's see. 
All it says is put in the code 358. I just don't understand where I fucking input this fucking code. Yeah, no shit, asshole. Maybe there's something in Jeremy's notes. It's 358. I just don't know how I put it in. This is upsetting me a lot right now because how the fuck do I use this fucking thing dude something a place where is that how the fuck did that work huh can i use it again i don't know how i fucking did that but what the fuck i just spun it detective i was wondering when you were going to show up Mrs. Thompson told me you were here. I understand you are working for Jeremy Hartwood's niece. Uh, yeah. I Dude, that's a so. huge I telephone. Mean, you're not wrong. We came here for her uncle. I just didn't expect... I didn't expect this. You are Dr. Gray, right? That's right. You don't happen to have some identification, detective. I'm not keen on having strangers prying into my business. Oh, Detective Edward Carnby, Decatur Street, New Orleans. Enjoying the view carré, Detective? Those old French quarters, the voodoo people, the gangsters. I'm sure you live an exciting life. Well, that's not quite like the stories, Doc. Just trying to make a living. Aren't we all making a living? Well, welcome to Dossetto, Detective. I hope your time here will be useful. Now, what can I do for you? Why don't you tell me where I can find Jeremy Hartwood? <laughs> Why wouldn't that make for a short visit? I wish I could tell you, but I'm afraid I don't know. A drink, detective? Anything brandy. Oh, you do belong in the French quarters, detective. Armagnac or cognac? You know, just give me the cheap stuff. I'm not much of a connoisseur. Having low standards is not a virtue, detective. Let me see if I can broaden your perspective. What can you tell me about Jeremy? I wouldn't want to go into details about his condition. Doctor-patient confidentiality. I'm sure you understand. Sure. But he is crazy. And he's gone missing. Why? Here. Try this. Good. Got a bite. <laughs> it's called a sidecar. 
The trick is not to be afraid of the tartness of the lemon. Then, for goodness sake, don't overdo the triple sec. Okay. What can you tell me about Jeremy? Ah, oh, well, let me think. He is an anxious man, constantly worried about events not presenting themselves according to his model of predestination. He complains about things not being carried out in the right order and that some things simply shouldn't be. Is any of this helpful to you? Uh, not really. Uh, I was hoping for some direction where to look next. I'm sorry. I have nothing for you then. You should talk to my orderlies. They have been looking for him for a while now. I'm sure they would appreciate your help. Yeah, I ran into Batiste earlier. Come to think of it, he... He might have given me a lead. Oh, excellent. So your investigation is already underway. I'm gonna go, but I'm sure we'll meet again. Looking forward to it. Safe returns.